Good evening, people. Can you see in here? Or you can just... I think we're about to have a storm. And I haven't put my teeth in, so hold on a mo. Good evening. I'm away. I've only just come back. <laughs> um, we've been on a holiday, me and the family, for a few days. And um, I've gone away again tonight. <laughs> because I can. I couldn't resist. <laughs> so, um, yes, me and Ellie have just gone local tonight. Um, I've got doctor's appointment in the morning, so um, I thought I'll do a stealth and then I'll go to that after. So I thought that'd do. <laughs> yes, we um, we went and explored Devon, which was um, which was great, and we had a good time. Um, we tried the Tom Tom out as well, which was um, which was good. So. Uh, Hopefully there'll be some videos to come. Sorry if you can hear a squeaking noise. It's um, it's the tree rubbing the roof. Because <laughs> um, I'm parked in the car park. <laughs> so I quite like it here. Um, that's what I was going to have a chat to you guys about. Um, I've been trying to do a video on these shoes. <laughs> um, thank you very much to A Leader for sending me these. Um, and uh, I have used them extensively, especially in the last week or the last few days that we've been away. Um, fantastic pair of shoes. Um, and I'm not just saying that because they sent them to me. Um, it, is, it was free of charge. I didn't have to pay for them or anything. But, um, I was going to do a proper video on the beach, you see. I was going to go on the beach with these shoes because that's what they're designed to do. And then it's aircraft. So let's wait for the airplane to go and I'll come back to you in a minute. Now the plane's gone, we'll start again. <laughs> I, what I was going to do was I'm going to, I was going to do a video using the shoes and going in the sea, which is what they're designed for. But um, it hasn't happened. <laughs> I haven't had chance. And uh, I did promise a leader that I would um, mention the shoes because I like them. Thank you, a leader. Um, I don't know if you can see. Actually, they're uh, they're all aerated. If you can see that, can you see that there? Can you see? Can you can if you can see through them? Let's have a look. Um, can you see the light shining through them? And they're uh, they've got holes in the bottom as well, which um, which is brilliant because the idea of these, um, I suppose they're similar to um, not Crocs, uh, um, and what are they? These sketches or kickers or something. Um, I don't know anything about shoes. <laughs> I don't do fashion, but um, these are brilliant because I can keep these in the van and wear them as a pair of slippers. Um, I can go and have a shower, which I did on the campsite. I can go and have a shower with these on, and um, I can still come back and uh, dry them out and use them as a pair of slippers but they're really useful so um this isn't really a review but uh, i thought i would just mention it because um i find that they're really useful so um thank you to a leader and uh, i will give you a proper review later when i get chance to actually go to the flipping beach I will wear them and I'll film it, I promise. But um, at present I have not had the chance. 
but um, to use these in the shower, brilliant. Um, if you if you're um, if you're a bit worried, you might pick up foot infections or something like that, or um, verrucas or something, you know, by using um, showers on campsites. Then uh, get yourself a pair of these because um, they're brilliant and they're really comfy as well. But my only problem is um, <laughs> I'll have a pair of skin socks, as you can see there. <laughs> So um, I do look a bit of a plonker when I wear them because um, I have got a sock line, but um, never mind. I'm used to looking a plonker anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, if you want a cracking pair of shoes to use for going in the shower or wearing as a pair of slippers or something or whatever, then um, I'll put a link in the description down below. So thank you again, a leader. They're um, a nice pair of shoes. <laughs> I've got a lorry in the car park. I don't think you guys can see. Can you see through there? Yes, I've got the car park to myself, apart from the lorry, which is over there. Um, Mr. Copart, whatever that is. Something to do with, um, it's a car transporter, I think. Um, yes, another thing that somebody else, another company sent me. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I feel I have to show you some of these things because some of the things are quite good. If I get anything sent to me and it's complete rubbish, I will tell you that it's complete rubbish. Uh, but this isn't. <laughs> it's quite good. Um, I got sent this, right? Now um, this company, um, I believe it was a company in China, because I can't remember who it was because I can't find the box but I'll put it in the link down below um, they said would you like to test our camping light so uh, I said okay thank you very much feel free to send away and uh, I'll do a video on it for you but um, it come in a box and I thought oh here we go another plastic light from China but um, <clears throat> I was quite impressed with this one it's really good, quite good. Um, as you can see, it hangs up like so. Um, if you guys can see, we can hang it up like that. It's, I don't know if you can see in here. I think it's a bit, it's quite dark outside. Can you see that? All right. Yeah. Anyway, um, it's got solar panels all the way around the top. So uh, when you hang it outside your tent. Or your awning yeah, I'm gonna use this in the awning but um, you hang it up in the daytime and uh, and it charges it up and then uh, when it gets dark of course it doesn't work now because it's not dark enough oh, there you go <laughs> it's got a, a light cell on it as well so um, you can switch it on leave it in your tent and then um, when you come when you come back from down being down the pub or whatever, it um, it switches itself on, which is brilliant. I think that's really good. And I was actually very surprised at how bright it was as well. That's um, that's the first power setting, I think. So that's two. Is, that gonna, is it going to come on? I Problem is it's not dark enough. Oh, there you go. There's power one. There's power two, and there's power three. Oops, there you are. Power that is power three. Yeah, but um, it's got three LEDs in it. Um, but it's the good, the the newer LEDs. It's not the uh, cheapy ones. But um, I thought that was really good. And um, thank you very much for sending me that one to have a look at, because um, I'm very impressed with it. I'm actually that impressed. Um. I'm actually going to buy one. <laughs> so I've got two of these in the awning because they're really good. You can, um, like I say, the fact, the fact that they come on and off automatically and they charge as well, you don't, um, you don't have to put batteries in them or anything. Um, I'm assuming the battery's all internal. There it's gone off again there. But um, if it's dark enough, as you see, it comes on and uh, Obviously, when it's daylight, it goes off. 
so uh, it doesn't waste your battery. Um, is that on? There you are, that's on. There you are, it's off now. Just, uh, yeah, so that's the solar panel. That's those solar panels around the edge there. Ooh, like that, around the top. So, um, it's all self-supporting, which uh, which I like, I think. So it's an off-grid torch, you don't have to charge it or do anything to it. You just hang it in the sun, basically. And when you want it, it turns itself on, if you want it to. So, that's really good. And um, I'm definitely going to buy another one because uh, I'm going to get two of those to go in my awning because I think they're good. Right, um, <laughs> that was another review. No, it wasn't. Um, well, I suppose it was, sort of. It was, um, it's a nice light. And uh, I, I use it in here. <laughs> um, instead of using my other lights, um, I can just hang that up instead on low power. So it's... Uh, Look at this bit of ambient light, which um, is quite good. And it charges itself because I just leave it here in the window. Um, like so. There, yeah, like that. There you are. Just leave it in the window and it charges itself up. Uh, I think it lasts about eight hours or something like that. It's a long time. Um, obviously, you'd have to leave it charging for a few days, I would imagine, to get it fully charged. But... Um, you don't live in your tent, do you? So uh, it's there for when you need it, which is good. Right, um, I think the sun's going down. It's getting dark. Uh, I did bring a light to film with, and uh, the battery's flat, so I can't use that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, cup of tea, and uh, sell down with the film, I think. So, um, about it for this one um just a bit of a just a bit of a catch-up video really um just to let you know that i had been away and um i did do a bit of a video so that will be coming up at some point um no idea actually when that one will go up um we'll have to wait and see but you will get it in due course <laughs> right um have a night guys have a great rest of the day. If you want to check out a pair of shoes and a light, I'll leave it in the description down below. And um, have a great rest of the day. Love and light to everybody. If I haven't said that already. And I'll see you in the next video. Because I'm losing the plot. So, <laughs> good night. <laughs> <laughs>